took your bloody time. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Luke's Reviews and on today's video I will be reviewing the sequel to 2009 sleeper hit Zombieland, Zombieland Double Tap. And the whole crew are back for this, Woody Harrelson as Tallahassee, Jesse Eisenberg as Columbus, Emma Stone as Wichita, Abigail Breslin as Little Rock. You even got writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick who have gone off and done Deadpool and Deadpool 2. They're returning to write the script. And you've also got Ruben Fleischer who's gone off and directed Venom and he's returning to direct. Joining the most unlikeliest of families once again, Zombieland Double Tap picks up exactly 10 years after the first as the gang are still wasting zombies left, right and centre, whilst also looking for a place they can call home. However, relationships are tested when Little Rock decides to leave with a boy she meets in pursuit of a supposed haven called Babylon, and it's down to the others to nut up and rescue her. This, this is a nice, easy review here. If you like the first Zombieland, you are more than likely going to really enjoy Zombieland Double Tap. It's by no means an exact copy, but it does follow a similar structure in the way that jokes are set up, in the fact that characters are going on like a, a mission to this one specific place, and they meet a whole bunch of new, interesting characters along the way, and then there's a giant zombie massacre by the end. And what you see is what you get. And what you get is a fun, easygoing, entertaining film that you can shove popcorn in your mouth and enjoy. There isn't... There isn't any need to go searching for subtext here or any deeper meanings. What makes it good is you like the characters, they're funny, they're fun to spend time with, and you just want to see them kill zombies in the most gory way possible. It's literally the prime definition of doing what it says on the tin. And it is great to see these characters return, and their chemistry is remarkably still so strong. Jesse Eisenberg still adheres to his rules and is brilliant when it comes to awkward kind of socially withdrawn comedy with his characters. Uh, Woody Harrelson plays Tallahassee again, and this is one of his best roles, in my opinion. The dude is just so nuts and bananas, and yet he has this kind of, he has this hidden heart that he really does care. Even Emma Stone, who, if you look at her career now, you, you kind of think that Zombieland is is maybe in the past for her. She wants to go on to like bigger and and critical darlings, uh, but she knows she shows up for this film. She she commits. She goes for it, which which was nice to see. And as good as it is to see the main cast return, it's quite refreshing to see some new faces pop up. For example, Luke Wilson and Thomas Middleditch only appear for a very short stint, as you get that really good comparison gag between them two and Woody Harrelson and Jesse Eisenberg's character, but it's entertaining. Rosario Dawson makes a quite a solid impact as Nevada, who's kind of like this counterpart for Woody Harrelson. The two are very similar. But the best of them all is Zoe Dutch as Madison, who's like this ditzy valley girl that Columbus comes across. And she, I was, I was a bit worried. I saw the trailers and I was, concerned that she was really going to annoy me. Turns out she's actually one of the best parts of the film. Every single line had me howling and her delivery is pitch perfect. Like I said, Double Tap is pretty much how you'd expect a Zombieland sequel to be. It's funny, entertaining, and provides enough zombie action for you to leave the cinema knowing you got your fill. It's far from perfect and it, it does occasionally lean in too heavy with the callbacks, but it's, it's Zombieland. You just have fun with it. Overall, I'm going to give Zombieland Double Tap a 7.5 out of 10. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Zombieland Double Tap. Let me know what you thought of the film down in the comments below. As well as, my question to you. In a zombie apocalypse, what would be your go-to weapon of choice? Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of this film down in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The links to all of my social media accounts are in the description below. Many thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next video.